hi this is my first video of 2024 finally i'm back where have i been you've probably been wondering well as the title suggests i've kind of been going through it with my art okay so since september ish to december of last year I've kind of been in that state where I suddenly feel like I'm not progressing as much as I'd like and maybe even regressing in my work. I feel stagnant is basically what I'm trying to say. I haven't been making as much art as I'd like to um, or as much progress with my art and handling social media has also been difficult for me. It's been hard to find the motivation to complete stuff. A lot of things I try just don't leave me feeling satisfied and also just trying to think up fun and creative ideas to draw has been tough. I'm sure my lack of sleep is to blame as well as the weather. It's so cold and dark and gloomy this period here in Ireland and I think it's affecting my mood more than I realize. So, I decided to sit down for a few days and do s just practice some discipline by doing some uh, sketchbook studies. I pulled out a cheap sketchbook that I uh, had got a few months ago. Um, I grabbed a pencil or pen and I gathered my reference images. In moments like this, Studies are far easier for me to take on because I don't have to do as much thinking as I would if I were working from just my imagination. I try to pick things that I include in my arts um, often but maybe lacked a certain amount of detail. Things that I could just brush up on. The main goal was to get up out of my bed and draw. It didn't really matter so much to me what it was I, would, I drew just as long as I was drawing. It's better to draw something than nothing at all, I think. I pushed myself to just doodle some stuff for a few days straight, and once I felt less rusty, I managed to capture some of these sketching practices on camera. Now when it comes to studying, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been good at it. Like, I don't truly know how to properly study, and that goes for anything outside of art related stuff too. What tends to happen for me is that I look at the information given and I trick myself into thinking that I understand it because it's laid out so clearly in front of me. But when you take away the source material and just give me a blank page and a pen, I can't like regurgitate the stuff that I thought I knew. It's, I was just, I was just looking with my eyes instead of my brain, if that makes sense. So I was careful to make sure that I wasn't just mindlessly drawing. Like I said, I picked some images of things that I felt that I could draw, you know, with little to no pressure. And I just made sure to not linger too much on that individual sketch, um, but also not rush it as well. Repetition is something that is pretty key in studying, and that's something I forget to try. I'm the type of person to attempt a sketch, and if it didn't turn out good, I just discard it and move on to the next thing. My patience is not the best. Um, if I was crazy dedicated or something, I would probably try to draw the same thing like a hundred times, but no. Because like, first of all, my wrists, but also, um, that would bore me so much that I would just end up quitting for the day. But yeah, on um, some of these sketching uh, days that I had, I would try to redo something and yeah. I find that when I study, I prefer to do them traditionally. Uh, the way my mind works is that if I can do it traditionally with little to no issues, then I can do it digitally quite well. 
because with traditional I'm forced to think about the placement of the sketch, uh, the amount of weight I put on my pencil, um, not erasing too much, uh, in fear that I, I ruin the paper. There is no undo button, so I really have to think. Um, if I were to do it digitally, I worry that I might end up relying a little too much on the transformation tools. I want to build up my line confidence, basically, and uh, the limitations of a paper and pencil just helps me to be more critical and focused. It can also be kind of therapeutic and nostalgic for me. It feels like going back to my roots and I'm reminded of being a young child with a sketchbook, a pencil, an eraser and a dream. So that's basically what I did for the rest of the video. I would just sit down and pick something to draw that day, whether it was faces or a couple poses or just, I don't know, hands. Um, I would just sit down and draw it for a few, a couple minutes. Switching from my sketchbook to my iPad or my like XP pen tablet, uh, changing materials can um, make things feel fresher and more inviting for me so I don't get bored. In these sessions, I wasn't really branching out into anything new. I was just kind of revising things that I've done. Um, Cause like I said, I, I don't want to scare myself from drawing right now. This is a delicate moment. So I just, I just need to be up and drawing and that's uh, progress. So yeah, that's basically the kind of cycle I've been in for the past few months, but I am slowly thawing out of it and I'm feeling so much better. I don't want to carry this, you know, sadness towards my arts into 2024. Art is fun and I want to keep enjoying it. And I obviously know that I'm, um, of course, I will run into moments like this where I doubt myself because the art process is not linear there are going to be ups and downs. You can't avoid it. It's just, it's not a matter of like if, it's when. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to work better on just managing my, I guess, expectations for my own arts and also prioritizing my health. And yeah, just kind of recognizing when things are getting a bit too much and taking breaks. I'm gonna be making sure that like I'm getting enough water and enough sleep. That's actually really like key, at least for me, I think. Um, eating enough and maybe going out more. Also just like having a hobby outside of art. Um, whether that's, I don't know, watching a new show or reading a new book, uh, playing a game, something. So I'm not constantly consumed by art. I can just kind of I can just kind of give my mind a break from arts. I'm also gonna try to manage like my social media usage. You know, I definitely do have a really bad habit with doom scrolling. Um, and it's so crazy. I'll recognize that I'm not interested in anything that I'm seeing and I'm swiping past, but I can't, I forget to put down the phone. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna try and figure out how to cut that down. And yeah, that is the energy for 2024. I'm really happy that I do have a really great audience here who are supporting me. Um, I noticed that in my absence from YouTube, we actually ended up hitting 600,000 subscribers, which I just think is so incredible and just crazy. I cannot believe that there are so many people who are interested in my work. And yeah, your support means so much to me and it is a great external motivation um, for me, for my art. 
and yeah i'm always going to be super thankful and i admire you guys's patience with me when it comes to my um uploading schedule or lack thereof i'm grateful i'm really grateful i hope that um you guys watching uh can feel inspired too and just you know keep going with art because it's not always going to be sad, you know, it's not, you're not always going to feel down. Um, just try to remember the joy of creating art. I don't know what else to say. Um, so I think I'll probably just stop talking now. Happy New Year and thank you for watching. <laughs>